Okay, welcome, welcome everybody. Tonight is our second part in our emotional series. This is Emotions and Essential Oils. So last night we did a deep dive into like the science behind aromatherapy. Tonight we're gonna talk some more specific oils and um, I'm gonna speed through some of these because these many of these oils are oils that I use every single day. And so, sorry, but I just cannot narrow them down. <clears throat> when it comes to moods, I think we need to talk about all of these. So mostly we're gonna be discussing blends tonight. But let's go ahead and just jump into these essential solutions for emotional wellness. So before we get started, I just want to reiterate, we talked a little bit about this last night, but how we are created to function as a whole in our body, our spirit, and our minds. So all of that works together and intertwines to create our wellness. Spirit, soul, body, you. We can't separate those things out. One impacts the other. And I know that we feel like one impacts the other sometimes, but I want to show you that that really truly is science. So we actually have three brains, and I mentioned this briefly last night. Experts call um, not just our brain, as we know is our brain a brain, but there's two other ones, which would be the heart and the gut. And the reason for this is that our mind is in charge of our logic and our intellect. Um, the subconscious mind directs over 90% of our behavior. The heart, I thought this was really interesting. So there are more um, neuro pathways that run from the heart to the brain than from the brain to the heart. So it really does matter what we feel in our heart and it sends signals to our brain, double as many <clears throat> as from our brain to our heart. So if you're more of a feeler than you are a thinker, this could be why. Um, and then our guts, when we have a gut feeling, we say we have that gut feeling, that's our intuition. And 90% of the body serotonin, as we talked about last night, is involved in, that's involved in mood management is produced in our gut. That's why it's so important to keep our guts functioning and healthy. What we put in, um, whether it be food or supplementation, vitamins and minerals, it's so important to make sure we have our guts balanced with good bacteria and the vitamins and minerals that we need so that our brains can operate the way that they need to and have happy hormones flowing instead of sad ones. Okay, so let's go on and talk about how they communicate with each other. So your brain and your heart and your gut communicate back and forth. If you've ever heard Dr. Caroline Leaf, she's a neuropsychologist and is very fascinating when she talks about this topic and how, how all of this impacts each other. Um, not long ago, there's a couple videos of her even on YouTube. Um, Stephen Furtick at Elevation Church had her on as a guest one week, and she's really fascinating, very intelligent in this field. But she says the three brains communicate with each other and they feed back to and therefore influence the mind. So, what you're feeling is science, it's not just your imagination, but your heart, your brain and your gut all connect. That's why when we um, have feelings of sadness or feelings of um, anxiousness, and um, when we feel anxious, we'll feel physical beating in our heart, like our, our pulse speeds up and our heartbeat speeds up, or you might feel sick to your stomach with worry. That's because all of those things are interconnected. So we have a physical response um, before we have a rational response sometimes to the moods and feelings that are going on in our hearts, mind, and gut. So really quickly, the three things that I, I want to talk about, three cool things about essential oils and three ways to use essential oils. So if you're new to essential oils, the really cool thing about them are they're safe. They are 100% natural and safe, no side effects. Um, they are amazingly effective and they are incredibly affordable. They are pennies per dose and um, much more affordable many times than other options that we would seek out. So <clears throat> one little bottle goes a long way because there's about 250 doses in our large size bottles. So that's a lot of um, feel good sunshine in a bottle. So there are three ways to use essential oils when we're speaking of doTERRA and the doTERRA has the purest and most potent and effective oils on the market. Not all essential oils are created equally. So when we talk about doTERRA, the usages are aromatically, which means we breathe them in. That's where the word aromatherapy comes from. Topically, they're safe to put on the skin. 
we do suggest using um, coconut oil or another carrier oil to dilute, especially if you have sensitive skin for best results. And then internally, if doTERRA's oils can be taken internally, they have a supplemental facts box on the back. Now tonight, most of the ones that we're gonna talk about have been specifically formulated for aromatic usage because they are mood oils. So that's where we're gonna spend the most time is talking about the aromatic um, component of how to use essential oils. So like I said, not all essential oils are created equally. You can look at this map of all the essential oils in the world and see that the quality and the grade that doTERRA has is a very small piece of the whole essential world puzzle. Um, doTERRA does reject um, over 80, I think the number is like over 80%, 85% of the oils that are sent to them um, by partners in the, in the field and farmers that they partner with to help because they're just not up to their, their grade. And so that's why it makes a difference knowing where your oils are sourced for and how they're sourced and who's on the other side of the bottle. Um, doTERRA's plants that produce their oils are grown and harvested in their natural habitat. Every liter that comes in, not just once, like many essential oil companies, but every time a shipment comes in, it undergoes multiple third-party laboratory testing and is tested in-house at doTERRA. The tests ensure that the oils are pure, genuine, authentic, and potent. Uh, we just recently had a product, not just really last week, that was tested and approved in our third-party testing to be sold, and doTERRA tested it in its internal labs and decided that it had one component that they weren't happy with that was up to standards, and they dumped the whole batch and refused to sell it. That's the kind of integrity that this company has. So certified pure therapeutic grade oils, which is what doTERRA is labeled, is beyond organic, verified pure, free of fillers, pesticides, and foreign contaminants. Very important when you're using oils on yourself and on your children so, and on your pets as well. So many of the ones that we're suggesting and talking about tonight can also be used for calming um, for pets. So synthetic, the difference between a synthetic compound and a natural compound Essential oils being the natural compounds, synthetic compounds um, are what we're used to in traditional medication. And so oils are not meant to cure, treat, or prevent disease because they work differently than standard medications. So when we look at synthetic compounds, whether it be synthetic essential oils or synthetic um, products, any kind of product that we're, we use that's produced in a laboratory, it's the key word with synthetics is to alter. So they're incapable of being selective. And when we do any kind of treatments with synthetic compounds, um, they don't have the ability to, to distinguish. So they normally kill all cells, both the destructive cells and the healthy cells. So then that leaves us with um, a more difficult problem afterward of trying to, um, for instance, when we take an antibiotic and our, our gut flora gets messed up, then we have to go back in and try to repair those, the cells that um, were healthy and got damaged in the process. With natural compounds, the key word is to restore. So they work totally different in our body. They work on a cellular level and they're able to penetrate into inside the cell wall. Everything has a specific frequency and they have the ability to lift the frequencies um, in our body. So that's a very powerful thing when we're talking about the olfactory system and lifting our moods as well. So we're gonna talk about the doTERRA mood matrix tonight. And these are the four zones that we're gonna start out with. Um, we're going to talk about our four original mood oils, and then we're also going to touch on the emotional arom aromatherapy system. So this is the mood matrix, and when we talk, when we're talking about these tonight, we're, as I said, we're mostly going to focus on blends. So the reason that we're going to focus on blends rather than single oils, it's not that single oils do not have um, an impact on your uh, emotional health. They do. It's, single oils are used to make up these blends, but something happens when naturally occurring compounds in essential oils are blended together artistically and scientifically. They can stimulate a specific intended emotional outcome. It's like, it's, it's amazing how they work together synergistically. It's like a mood in a bottle. So the opposite of a mood ring, right? When, you, when we had those little rings that we would put our fingers on and, and um, they would determine our mood. So we have some tools to help determine your mood tonight that I'm going to tell you about, which is super, super cool. But these bottles are specifically formulated with a mix 
of different kinds of essential oils to give you the most bang for your buck already mixed up in the bottle. Doesn't mean you can't mix them together further, which we'll talk about a little bit later, but these are beautiful blends. So you can ele elevate your emotional state at will by using powerful essential oils. The natural chemical makeup of a pure and potent therapeutic essential oil can immediately affect your mood, your energy, your ambition, and your sense of enjoyment. Isn't that cool? Plus it smells good in the process. Okay, so we talked a little bit about adaptive last night. I just wanna say right now, if you have adaptive or you have citrus bliss or even, I see it, Cheryl, <laughs> awesome. Or even if you have both together, just take them out right now and put a drop in your hand and just rub that hand, your hands together and take a deep breath. Mm. We're gonna start out class happy tonight. Kevin, I do not see your adaptive. <laughs> Did you use it? Or are you faking? You're faking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he has it, folks, and he's not using it. it. Although it was in our diffusers. Yeah, it's um, over there. So I didn't want to get up and go get it. I okay. Mean, you may just like need it a little bit later on. I might in a minute go get it. So there is a diffuser blend that I sent. I found today and sent to someone, and it actually mixes the citrus bliss and the adaptive together. So you might wanna try that in your diffuser if you haven't, haven't tried that yet. So, okay, let's move on. So we're gonna talk about the mood continuums. So we touched on this a little bit with adaptive last night, but when we talk, remember that our emotional and our physical health are related. So sometimes when we live in this space where we have a lack of peace or we feel like we're left without passion, emotionally, it can translate to feeling stressed and fatigue to match those things on the physical level. See how that works? So when, in order to create this mood continuum, we're gonna intersect those pieces and see what happens in our body when these things kind of mix together. So we have an emotional feeling and we have a physical response to that feeling. And it's not just all about feelings that you can naturally turn on and turn off. Yes, thoughts are important. Yes, prayer is important. Yes, oils are important. But we need a mixture of things to make sure that our gut, our brains are communicating and we are addressing both emotional and physical causes and responses. But when all of these things intersect and you're feeling no peace and fatigued and no passion and stress, you're having a bad day. Anybody ever have one of those? Right? Yes. Okay. So here's how it can translate in between in this mood continuum um, within four different quadrants. Okay, so maybe when I have no peace and I'm tired, I get angry and impatient. Maybe you feel more like you just are no, you have no passion, you don't enjoy anything you're doing, and you're tired. You feel unmotivated and discouraged. Um, maybe you're feeling stressed and you have no passion for anything. It's hard to get up and get going in the day. You feel hopeless and withdrawn. You don't want to face the world. Um, Maybe you have no peace and you're stressed and so you get this tension and this worry and, and you start to get some physical responses from that. So here's how you might look if you're hanging out in zone one and you're impatient and angry, right? So you may look that way because you're feeling angry and impatient, but how your body responds many times is with a stomach ache and a headache. Anybody ever experienced that? Zone two, you can see here her body language. She's kind of, she's unmotivated, feeling discouraged, has her hood kind of up over her face, you know, not her, her head, not really wanting to be social or engage other people. When you're living in this space, you might find yourself with brain fog and your chest is tight, that tension in your chest. Okay, if you're in zone three and you hang out there a lot, um, you might feel hopeless and withdrawn. Those are the feelings, but your physical self feels the chest tightness that we talked about above, and, but maybe lower back pain instead. And then if you're hanging out in the fourth quadrant here and you're tense and worried, you might look like this. What's she holding on to? 
<laughs> right? <laughs> Your head, a head tension area here. So you look worried and tense. You kind of do this with your eyebrows. And so you between your head and your neck and your digestive system, you get this tension in your shoulders, right? And a lot of times that tension then spreads up into your head as well. And also digestive upset stomach because tension settles in our stomach a lot. Okay, so this is bad feeling soup. You may find that you hang out in one quadrant a lot, or you may find um, ladies sometimes at different times of the month because of our hormones we go back and forth between and bounce back and forth between these or honestly sometimes you might be in all four of these places in one day it's you know our moods are subject to change sometimes we hang out in one space more but you may feel all four of these on a regular basis so I want you to take a second and ask yourself um, with what we just talked about the zone one two three and four where do you spend most of your time emotionally. Where do I spend most of my time emotionally? It, maybe it's all four, four places. Um, are you impatient and angry? Are you unmotivated and discouraged? Are you hopeless and withdrawn? Are you tense and worried? Where, what are your top three emotional homes? And where do you want to be emotionally? What would it look like if you could create your own space where you didn't have those, those physical symptoms based upon the emotional home that you're living in right then. We're gonna come back to here in a little bit, but we'll, we'll go on for now. And I just want you to think through that, maybe jot down a couple of notes. Okay, so let's look at, um, like we call this mood mapping and using essential oils effectively in this area. So to use mood mapping, we determine which oils would be best for these emotional and physical symptoms that come as a result of the emotions. And we're specifically gonna talk about balance, elevation, citrus bliss, and serenity right now. And I'm gonna show you how they correlate with these four different um, places on the, the mood quadrant. Mood management with these specific blends. Like I said, these are the original four oils. This is what I used to manage my emotions from the very beginning of when I found doTERRA and fell in love instantly as soon as I started using them. These can be used in a diffuser. One of my favorite things to do with these is I use doTERRA's unscented hand and body lotion. And depending on where I want my mood to be in that day, I'll take a couple of drops and put it in the body lotion and I create my own um, body, body lotion treatment that is better than anything I used to buy at Bath and Body Works. It smells beautiful and all day long I can smell that scent. You can wear these as perfume, you can put them on diffuser jewelry, and of course you can use them in your diffuser. Okay, so let's talk first about serenity. So, um, and I'll tell you which quadrant this fills fits into. But this is Serenity, we call it the Restful Blend, and it has a blend of lavender, cedarwood, vetiver, hoewood, sweet marjoram, Roman chamomile, ylang ylang, Hawaiian sandalwood, and vanilla absolute. If you have Serenity, grab it and take a nice whiff of it. It's beautiful. So this is great for nighttime. It can also be used during the day, but it is very supportive for stressful or anxious feelings, and it's great for sleep and peace as well. So if you find yourself hanging out in zone one, which is impatient and angry, serenity may be your best friend even during the workday. It's calming, it's composing, it's placating, and it just kind of brings your pulse down and alleviates some of that um, impatientness and, and anger. So citrus bliss, Everybody should have Citrus Bliss, I think, because if you don't have it in your collection, you were probably sampled it. Citrus Bliss has an amazing aroma. It's boosting and calming, elevating, clearing. It has a lot of citrus in it. Wild orange, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin, bergamot, tangerine, clementine, and vanilla, absolute. So this is like sunshine in a bottle. I think it smells like a dream sickle. And this is particularly good if you find yourself hanging out in zone two and you're unmotivated and discouraged a lot right now. You have trouble going through your days. Citrus Bliss is amazing for that. If you find yourself hanging in zone three, hopeless and withdrawn, you may wanna choose to 
smell elevation. Oh my goodness. Elevation is Kevin, tell us what you think about elevation. Elevation is amazing. Um, I don't, we went for a while without it because we had run out and we ordered it and we went. And then we lost it when it came in. <laughs> and then when it came in, we lost it and couldn't find it. It was like probably several months until we got another one in, right? Yeah. And so it was like, finally when it came in, it was like, oh, it was one of those, oh, moments, you know. It's wonderful. It was the first time in five years we had been without it. And I just kept forgetting to put it in on, on another order. I was sure I'd find it and I never did. But it has um, this is an amazing mix of oils in it as well. Very uplifting. And this is one of the few blends that has Melissa in it as well, which is one of our pricier um, oils. So it, it is beautiful. Okay. So the next zone that you might find yourself hanging out in is zone four, which is the tense and worried zone. And if that is your place that you find yourself a lot, look at balance. Balance is another one of my favorites. This, I wish I could teach a whole class just on this oil. It's incredible. Um, one drop of balance on the bottom of the feet every day is will change your life and rock your world. It supports those with anxious and nervous feelings. Um, helps with focus. Kids love this blend. It balances electrical energies in the body. It has like the tree oil, so it's very grounding. Spruce, hoewood, frankincense, blue tansy, blue chamomile, frankincense, osmanthus, and fractionated coconut oil. I have a friend um, who has little boys who are on the spectrum, and so when they were, would come home and were really overstimulated, um, there would be a lot of fighting, a lot of, you know, just, just craziness, and a lot of um, um, you know, she felt like her house was just crazy, crazy, and they would um, spin on the floor, you know, a lot of, a lot of things that just trying to be centered and grounded. So she'd throw this in the diffuser, and then a couple minutes later, she would send me a text of them sitting quietly playing. Like, it's, it creates so much peace <laughs> in the home and on us individually. So I love balance. All right, so balance is grounding and reassuring and consoling. Elevation is inspiring and encouraging and cheering. Uh, citrus bliss is invigorating, stimulating, motivating, and serenity is calming and composing and placa placating. So beautiful, beautiful aromas in these and they're beautiful mixed together as well. So this is what you wanna look like <laughs> instead of some of those other pictures earlier, right? Centered um, and happy and at peace, just content. And so, um, Remember that we talked about last night, if you wanna feel awesome, these are going to make an amazing difference just because aromatherapy is a powerful thing. However, if you want to address the core, remember that because the three brains work together the way that they do, that you really need to address your gut. Make sure that it's getting the supplementation that you need. Make sure that you're taking um, in good gut bacteria and enzymes. Sometimes, a couple of times a year, um, you may need to do a cleanse on your gut um, on top of it. But these are amazing supplements. This is doTERRA's number one selling product, and it's not even an essential oil. <laughs> it's because so many people know that this is the foundational support for your mind and for your body, for your mood, for your immunity, for pain, and just for energy as a whole. So this is daily support with micronutrients, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals that your body knows how to absorb like a super superfood smoothie. These are infused with essential oils as well, so you get the best of both worlds, and then they give you a good foundation to put your mood oils with. So this is an example of what a cleanse may look like. We do this about four times a year, but we do take the PB Assist and the Terrazyme on a daily basis because those two things with the Lifelong Vitality do an amazing job of keeping your gut flora balanced so your gut brain is healthy, so your brain brain can be as well, and your heart flows through all of that. Okay, let's talk about combining a little bit. This is from Dr. Susan Lawton, and these are some suggestions that she has for combining these four oils that we talked about. So if you are looking um, for that you need to um, support forgiveness and a release of feelings, you might want to mix balance and serenity together. That's one of my favorite roller balls. Um, 
you mix about 10 drops of balance, 10 drops of serenity and five drops of frankincense in a roller ball together. And it's just, uh, we call it liquid calm. It's amazing. So if you're looking for acceptance, you think um, that's something that you want to create in yourself and you're having terms come, you're having um, trouble coming to terms with something, balance and elevation, these two together are going to be amazing. If you need to reset your priorities, whether it's in work or family or whatever, try um, diffusing or wearing some citrus bliss and balance together. We call that the green monster blend. So it's great for like temper tantrums and those kind of things with kids as well. If you're transitioning a time of change, maybe in or out of a job or a new house, um, new feelings. Like, I think this is excellent right now with what we're going through in our world. You can mix serenity and citrus bliss together. That's a great pairing for you. And then if you really need a kick in the pants to get your passion restored, elevation and citrus bliss. It's like sunshine all over the place. This is a great morning blend, especially to um, to really get your day going right. I have the wrong one. Citrus bliss and elevation. <laughs> Um, amazing. So, and then of course, serenity improves your self image and frankincense goes with everything. So you can always layer frankincense in with those things. Frankincense by itself is an amazing mood oil. Um, I love for calming. I put it on either side of my nose, but you can, it, it just is like a turbocharger that when you combine it with other oils helps all other oils work more effectively. All right, so let's talk about the emotional aromatherapy line. So a couple of years ago, doTERRA took it, stepped it up a notch and came out with a full aromatherapy line for emotions. Now, there is a, um, a circular where we talked about quadrants before, and now we're looking at a wheel of emotions, okay? So I'm going to show you this closer up. But basically, if you watched what I posted in the group yesterday from Laura Jacobs. She did a beautiful job of asking, what do you want more of? What do you want to feel more of? And what do you want to feel less of? That's a 12 minute video. And I encourage you to go back and watch that one because it's really good. She teaches it in just a really nice, basic way. But here are these specific oils, motivate, cheer, passion, forgive, console, and peace. And let's look a little bit closer at those. So these are formulated so I think all four of the first mood oils have an amazing scent that everybody seems to love. They're just really easy to embrace. Like wild orange is one of those oils everybody loves. As you get into some of the deeper aromas of oils, sometimes people um, either like or don't like those things. When this set first came out, I could tell that I love the original one still and nothing will ever replace them, but these are just different. Like they have a deeper more mysterious um, aroma to them. And the blending that they did with these is just fantastic. So they come in two different ways. They come in a roller ball that you literally can just roll on, roll over your heart. Um, they also come in the five ML bottles. Julie, I, I just, I think they're richer. They're just a fuller, richer, more in depth. Like you can just tell there's just so much more put into them. Yeah. Yeah. Where you, there's tons of oil, different blend oils in each of these blends, but this, it's a deeper, richer, you're right. Exactly. The formulation of them, um, you can tell is for a deep emotional response. Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> on this wheel, it's really easy to look at this wheel and kind of look at the emotions that you're feeling. So discouraged and gloomy and distressed citrus is amazing for that. So if you fall in that line, um, this wheel is what we used to determine for a long time what we were looking at. Now doTERRA has an amazing app as well. Called, it's a free app. It's different than the adaptive app I talked about last night. It's called the Daily Drop app. And on that app, there's a um, uh, discover your mood little part on the app if you go up under settings. And you can take a test on how you're feeling. And it narrows it down a little bit from this. And it will make recommendations of both types of oils, the emotional aromatherapy and the original mood management oils, um, based upon what you select on there. But the citrus and the spice mixed together results in this beautiful blend called Cheer. It's the uplifting blend. Kevin, you say, Kevin thinks this smells like, is it root beer? I think it smells like root beer. Okay, so other people have said, I'm trying to remember some of the things that other people have. Uh, was it cotton candy? 
Yeah, which cotton candy was one. It's funny what people come out of it, but it's it mm. it definitely has your spices in it mixed with the citrus. Mm -hmm. um, and then we move down to the spices and the herbs mixed together, bringing this passion inspiring blend. I love this blend. It's a deep, rich oh, aroma. And I don't have listed everything that's in it because honestly, a lot of the things that are in these, we can't buy individually. Um, the third one is the one that I had a little more trouble adjusting to, but I love it now. It's called Forgive, and I, it's the Renewing Blend. And honestly, I think a lot of people repel, rebel against this because none of us wants to walk in forgiveness, right? So, but it, um, it has the herbs and grasses and trees. It's an amazing respiratory oil as well. But it's funny that that's true because when we don't forgive and we're harboring stuff, our chest feels tight and it affects our respiratory system and forgive both helps our respiratory system and it helps take that heaviness out of our chest. Console is a mix of florals and trees and it is a beautiful oil to use in times of loss for comfort. Um, I think it's also deep and rich as well. I like it with serenity, but it's a little deeper than what serenity is as well. And then peace mixes um, the florals with a little bit of mint. I don't smell much mint in it. I smell more um, in the floral base, but peace is just what it says. It's the reassuring blend and it brings peace. It's beautiful. Mixed peace and console together are beautiful. It's also great mixed with serenity. Um, but peace is great rubbed over the heart as well. It's very calming and um, it kind of just helps you take a deep breath and find some peace whenever you're feeling anxious and insecure and apathetic or fearful. So this is a great one that a lot of people have been using right now as well between the peace and console. So you can literally go from any negative emotion to its positive counterpart very quickly. Each proprietary blend has been masterfully created to evoke a powerful emotional response. So here's the, the rollerballs picture below. Um, Cheer says, say hello to optimism, cheerfulness, and happiness, and goodbye to feeling down, blue, or low. Passion lets you say hello to excitement and passion and joy and goodbye to boredom and disinterest. Forgive helps you say hello to contentment and relief and patience and goodbye to negative emotions of anger and guilt. Sometimes we need to forgive ourselves as much as we need to forgive other people. Motivate is one of our favorites. It's citrus and mint together. So say hello to confidence, courage, and belief and goodbye to emotions of doubt, pessimism, and cynicism. Peace, say hello to peace and reassurance and contentment and goodbye to anxious and fearful emotions and console, say hello to comfort and hope and goodbye to grief, sadness, and hopelessness. So those are beautiful. So again, I'm gonna ask you, what are your top three emotional homes and where do you want to be emotionally? You might wanna make some notes on these and see where you're centered in and those that you don't have in your collection. Those are great items to put on your wish list. You can move from feeling discouraged to encouraged with motivate. You can move from feeling somber to uplifted with cheer, from discontented to inspired with passion, from ashamed to renewed with forgive, from grieving to comforted with console, from fearful to reassured with peace. And so again, it's best to develop a, sometimes you may only have those feelings temporarily and move on, but it's best to develop a routine and get used to using these on, on a regular basis when these feelings um, creep up. So you can use these oils while meditating. You can use them in your car while driving. Motivate is amazing for a car diffuser while you're driving down the road. Um, if you do yoga, you can use them during exercise or yoga or um, meditation or prayer or just keep them diffusing to create the emotional environment, the home that you want to live in. What, what emotional home do you want to live in? So this is an example of what you'll find on the Daily Drop app fun little videos that you can watch. Um, I really encourage you to hop on there and play around with the Determine Your Mood. It's great. It's great for kids. Um, and it's great if you're a person who can't express what you're feeling, but you can use a slider to kind of tell it'll direct you to exactly which oils are best for you. It's called the Daily Drop app, doTERRA Daily Drop in both um, the Google store and the iOS store. So this is a really good practice. You can apply one drop of balance to your hands, rub them together, and inhale deeply for peace and reassurance that everything will be okay. Ooh, I love that. Okay, 
If you don't yet have oils in your home, there's three ways that you can purchase. You can purchase at retail, it's the most expensive, usually only used in professional settings like your chiropractor's office or your, um, you know, a spa or something like that. Most of us choose to purchase wholesale, which gets you the best prices. Like Costco, you can just be a wholesale customer and you save 25% off of the retail prices. And then the very best way to shop, which I do, and most um, people that I talk with choose to do this, the wholesale plus our loyalty rewards program gives you points for free purchases and also oils for free. So that is the smart shopper plan. Um, wholesale members can enroll with an enrollment kit and you don't pay the $35 fee, which Sam's and Costco don't normally give you that membership free. So I love this added bonus. I do want to mention this brand new enrollment kit that just came out less than 30 days ago. Um, and it does include uh, the adaptive and the balance and a couple of oils that are really good for emotions, which is why I'm spotlighting this tonight, plus the diffuser. Plus with this kit, you get a free Citrus Bliss as well. If you are a new wholesale customer this month, I have a special code for you. So if you're watching- And, and yeah. all, but the, all but the deep blue, all of the bottles are the 15 mil, not the- Yes, five. they're the big so, ones. Yeah, so as far as the emotional oils, it's three times the amount of those size oils. Just Absolutely. Copaiba is another great one for emotions as well. And then you have your immune support oils in this kit as well. So it's a really good basics kit to start out with. Um, and then we can show you how to get the other emotional oils that you want to add on as a wish list later. So really great way to get started. Um, I'm going to, can you text our number? Can you put our number in the text? Um, so it's not out there publicly, um, but you can send uh, you know, you me put your cell number. Yeah. Okay. And um, that brings us to the close of our class tonight. So we, we just closed up in, in our allotted amount of time, but I hope you learned some tools that can help you cope um, with moods because it's something that we all experience and it's great to have some tools in our back pocket to be able to deal with those things when they come. So thanks for coming to class tonight. And connect with us again in the quest group. If you have any more questions, we'll have a couple more tips and tricks in there before this session ends. And then next week, we're moving on to oiling with littles. So thanks so much, guys, for coming tonight.